wonderful interpreters and thank you again for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to talk about the motion that we just filed with PERC to start the election already. I will also be addressing reports of desperation from other groups, the truth behind Wolfsey's endorsement, and our own main goals as a union. So be sure to watch this entire video and feel free to pause it at any time in order to read the information that you see on the screen. Now, to get started, we're bringing back a popular segment featured in my videos. So welcome to another episode of Woofsie Shenanigans. I want you to pay attention to Woofsie's most recent attempt to deceive you. This is going to be hilarious. They recently announced being endorsed by the Washington State Labor Council, another organization under the AFL-CIO, which is a federation of national and international unions. You see, Wolfsey wants you to think that this is a big deal. However, this is just another scam, and I'll show you why. First off, Wolfsey has always been affiliated with both the Washington State Labor Council and the AFL-CIO, so it's only obvious that they're going to get support from these organizations, making this endorsement absolutely meaningless. Let's confirm and explore the other reason why this is a scam by checking out Wolfsey's constitution. Here you can see that Wolfsey has been affiliated with both the AFL-CIO and the Washington State Labor Council from the very beginning. Wolfsey pays monthly per capita taxes from their members' dues to AFSCME International and the Washington State Labor Council also benefits from these union dues. It's all about getting your money. These payments can also be confirmed by reading AFSCME's constitution, so let's see. It says right here that part of the union dues from affiliated local unions like Local 1671 Interpreters United go directly to the Washington State Labor Council through AFSCME. And as I have shown you before in my videos, Interpreters United Local 1671 pays 68% of their own members' dues to Wolfsey Council 28, their own staff, 23% to AFSCME International, who then contributes directly to the Washington State Labor Council, as you have just learned. So of course, this is a phony endorsement, while their local union retains only 8% from their members' dues. But of course, they also have to protect their own privileged few while destroying independent LNI interpreters in the process. As I also have shared before, this is Wolfsey's union reporting history. Here you can confirm how much money they pay to their own council staff and organizers. You can see many hefty salaries, well above $100,000. All going to the so-called professional staff that they have, who are not interpreters, but who claim to know what's best for interpreters. Getting to be lead negotiators, for sure, so go figure paying themselves above $8 million a year in average, according to this report. Which, of course, also using their members' dues money for direct political contributions and lying about it, as I have exposed since last year in several of my videos. All of this while Leroy Mould, former Local 1671's president for 10 years, started bidding for the LNI contract back in 2019 while still being their president, highlighting a gross conflict of interest. He was obviously trying to create a monopoly for himself and his buddies while accusing independent interpreters from doing exactly what he was trying to do and alienating the voters that they're supposedly wanting to represent in the process. You cannot make this up. Oh, you know, demonizing interpreters like you and me because we used to have the opportunity to build directly without restrictions. Here you can see how much money I made in 2019 from building LNI directly, and it is not a monopoly whatsoever. You can see this from the amount that's on the screen. All of this while he was secretly competing for the LNI contract. This is unbelievable. We have recently received reports about other groups engaging in some other desperate activities of their own, especially now that we're getting very close to have our election. Now you know me, so please go ahead and get your popcorn. 
Well, 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 it appears to be that at least a couple of misguided individuals from other groups do not want you to have representation, all while Wolfsey continues to destroy our industry. And because they couldn't get enough support from interpreters, it looks like now they would want to wait for years without a union so that they can apparently try again with the Teamsters? Huh? The thing is that the Teamsters are also affiliated with the Washington State Labor Council and cannot compete with other affiliated unions like Wolfsey Local 1671 Interpreters United. This is a fact. But don't take my word for it. This is clearly stated in the AFL-CIO Constitution. You can read it for yourself. Unions affiliated with AFL-CIO have to foster respect with each other and can't compete with, raid, or sabotage each other. You can also verify this information directly from the Washington State Labor Council. Read what it says right here. While the Teamsters Union is not affiliated with the national AFL-CIO, they have retained their affiliation by signing solidarity charters or agreements with the local Washington State Labor Council, which is anyways part of the AFL-CIO, meaning that they cannot compete with, oh, I don't know, unions or local unions like Wolfsey Local 1671 Interpreters United. So please, do not be confused by these uninformed individuals. The time to choose our union for LNI interpreters is now in order to get rid of Wolfsey immediately. And this brings me to the last part of our video tonight. Here you can see that we have recently filed a motion with PERC to proceed with the election just a few days ago. We have also appealed PERC's decision on our unfair labor practice, so we are formally requesting PERC here to proceed with the election while we're waiting, noting that Wolfsey is not participating in these proceedings anymore. We are respectfully noting here the fact that we have filed for representation over a year ago, so it is time for LNI interpreters to have our election. Also, by reading this, you can see that the election has not been scheduled in part because of the six-month delay caused by Wolfsey filing a frivolous ULP, which they knew it wasn't going anywhere, and they didn't even bother to appeal. So, we are requesting PERC to move expeditiously with the election. And in order to achieve this, we are also requesting the executive director to dismiss any objections to the election by other groups based on our unfair labor practice appeal, since we are the only union with a pending decision now anyways. In closing, I want to tell you that this election has been long overdue and the decision to green light the process is now in Perk's hands. One thing is for sure. We cannot continue without a union for much longer while Wolfsey keeps influencing LNI to make changes that we do not want. We will continue to fight to make sure that we have this election very soon. And to achieve our main goals as a union, while we continue to fight for a dual system where you can have all of the options available to receive appointments without restrictions, whether it is from the scheduling system or from billing directly as independent interpreters. Once we win, we will also make sure that LNI implements the right policies in order to prevent monopolies more efficiently from any medical providers or interpreters. We want to ensure that you have access to appointments regardless of whatever system that we end up with. We will also fight to bring our mileage reimbursement back to obtain real health benefits and to get 100% payment for no-shows and cancellations. We also want you to be respected and to get paid on time. So once again, thank you for your support and for giving us the lead since months ago when it really counted. This is the only endorsement that really matters as we now have the support of the vast majority of LNI interpreters.